हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ एम ए महंत वर्किंग इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग चैलेंजेस एंड अप्रोच लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द प्रॉब्लम डोमेन इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड describe software engineering challenges and approach first we are going to see the definition of software engineering software engineering is systematic approach of developing the software it is a set of phases or activities the end product is developed software so the importance of software engineering Software engineering plays an important role in education, commercial organization, research, social media, military, and government organization. Mainly, softwares can be class classified into two types: application software and system software. See, actually, in software engineering, there are number of phases, such as uh, required analysis, specification, first phase, designing is the second phase, coding is the third phase, testing is the fourth phase, and maintenance and operational is the fifth phase of software engineering so uh, the application software is nothing but the software which is used in the commercial organization that is called as application software for example microsoft visual basic uh, vb.net these are the example of application software and the system software system software is nothing but the software which can be used to develop the another software that is called as the system software For example, C, C++, V, C++, Java. These are the, uh, all are the system software. The some problem domains which arises in software engineering. There are number of problems in problem domain of software engineering. The first is comparison of student software and industry strength of software. For student software, no need of scheduling, costing, and documentation. So effort estimation is not required. C. Uh, the problem statement is given to the student and student is solving that problem statement by using some programming languages so there is no need of any scheduling costing or documentation also effort estimation so there is uh, no need of quality factors such as reliability portability efficiency maintainability and usability in student led software but these all things are needed for industrial led strength of software so for the industrial uh, strength of software the scheduling costing documentation and all quality factors such as reliability portability efficiency and maintainability and usability is required so this is used in business routine to solve the problems of clients and used by clients of that organization the second problem domain is software is expensive the uh, see software development is labor in, uh, intensive so productivity means total number of lines of code developed for that specific software product so 20 dollars uh, per 1000 lines of codes per month now software cost is 80% and hardware cost is 20% so consider all these things for the software is expensive by uh, so this is the labor uh, intensive job and consider the cost of hardware and software with this software is more expensive the third uh, problem domain is deployment of software late and reliable see after development of software it is deployed to the client but for some projects are running out of schedule and cost due to some reason the delivery is late such as inaccuracy and problem in software due to failure of, uh, of electrical and mechanical systems due to bugs and errors occurred in design and development phase due, due to lack of physical and skillful human resources so there is so many reasons that the uh, delivery of software gets failure uh, due to the lack of uh, non skillful human resources or due to hard, hardware failure software failure or due to bugs and errors in the software then for next uh, problem domain is maintenance and reworks after the development of software it is deployed to the client if client faces any problems or errors while operating that software then developer bring that software in their office and repair the software by removing bugs and errors this is called regression testing and rework can be done again repaired software de deployed to the clients maintenance take 30 to 40% efforts and cost that development cost of that software so in maintenance rework the problem which is arises at the client side they are repaired at the development office and that uh, errors are removed and bugs are removed by big modification that software uh, so the rework can be done here 
So this uh, this is also uh, one part of the problem domain that is maintenance and reworks. There are two types of uh, maintenance: are corrective maintenance, adaptive maintenance. The corrective uh, the errors from the software is called corrective maintenance. We are removing the error from the program that is called as a corrective errors, uh, and removing the errors or convenience of the software in the latest version or modification or upgrading the software is adaptive maintenance. So in adaptive maintenance, we are updating the software. At that time, some testing can be done. Uh, that is, uh, some maintenance can be done by conversion of software to the latest uh, in latest version, or some modification can be done. That is called as an adaptive maintenance. So there are two types of maintenance: corrective maintenance, adaptive maintenance. So commonly, removing the error from the program is called corrective maintenance, and the adaptive maintenance means of conversion of software into latest version. The next part is the software engineering challenges. The first part, satisfy all the needs of required from the developed software. So this is one of the challenge. Means what, whatever the requirements you have specified in SRS, it means software required specification document, which is the output of first phase that is required by analysis and specification. So when you are develop, uh, develop, developing your software, you have to see that all the requirements of the customer are satisfied by that software. You are converting all the customer requirement into the automation. So this is the one of the challenge that you have to satisfy all the require, customer requirements uh, in, uh, by using that software. So the second uh, software thing challenge is scale. Scale means as the size of the project increases, then we are moving from some informal method of development to formal method of development. So more resources, method, tools, and techniques and management activities are required for software development. See, scaling means what? As the size of the project goes on increasing, definitely you are moving from uh, 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 informal to formal method of development. So more number of resources, method, tools, techniques are required for developing that software. So scaling is one of the software challenges. The next is quality and productivity. If quality of the software is high, then productivity of that software is high. Cost, schedule, and quality are important factors in software development. Productivity means development of 1,000 lines of code per, person, per month for that software. So maintaining quality and productivity is one of the software engineering challenge. The quality attributes can be defined as the functionality, means the capability to provide functions which meet stated and implied needs when the software is used. Second uh, quality attribute is reliability, uh, means failure free operation of that software. The capability to maintain the special level of performance. Third. Uh, Quality attribute is usability, the capability to understood, learned, and used. The next software challenge is consistency and repeatability. So high quality software being developed with high productivity, poor quality software being developed with poor productivity. It is a challenge in, in the software engineering phases uh, is how to ensure that successful results can be repeated and there can be some degree of consistency in quality and productivity. Differing quality and productivity for different projects is an issue. So uh, maintaining consistency and uh, the repeatability is one of the software engineering challenges. So providing consistency in quality, productivity, and improvement in their processes, techniques, tools, and methods use some frameworks for a software development such as ISO 9001 and CMM capability maturity model used by an organization. So some frameworks are available for providing quality to that software, that is ISO 9001 and uh, uh, capa uh, capability maturity model, which consists of uh, different uh, quality criterions and quality attributes. By using this, uh, we are maintaining the quality to that software. The next challenge is uh, changes. Changes in the business rapid, so software will not be rigid. It accepts all the changes. It accepts modification. Number of changes in software, it accommodates all the changes and solves few problems. That the changes are resistant. Software is ready to accept any modification after development. So changes due to business requirements or changes due to some modifications at the client side, uh, changes due to some uh, 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 requirement of the programs or some change in the requirements. So the changes can be uh, made in the software. So that is one of the software engineering challenge. Now I'm going to ask one question to all the students. You have to answer that question. Dash means 
total number of lines of codes developed for that specific software product option a productivity option b portability option c efficiency option d reliability choose any one of the option from the given options pause the video and write the answer the answer is productivity so productivity means total number of lines of code developed for that specific software product the next part is the iron triangle see for maintain the quality and productivity you have to provide some technology some processes and some people who are working that organization so in software development what they are saying that you have to use the always use the recent technology the recent software hardware for developing that software these are the references thank you